All right, so for this method, you're gonna need some starting cash. I'm not gonna lie, you will not be profiting from this method, but you will not be losing too much for the amount of XP you're getting. So start off with a good amount of taco. I'm starting with this sample with about 267,000 taco, which was about three mil worth of chaos. So getting into the first step of the whole thing, the buying process. All right, so step one is gonna be the buying process. What you're gonna to wanna to do is bring all your taco to more old wreck the new Tazar place. I'll put up a map right here right now for you It's directly east of the old Tazar place. So you should be able to find it All right So moving back on to the step one process What you're gonna be doing is buying all the sapphires and emeralds with your taco and filling them in your gem bag as well and then banking directly to the north and This process does not take long at all. It's probably the quickest process of it all and it should take you about one minute and 45 for a full inventory. That's including filling up your gem bag as well as putting them back in the bank and coming back. All right, so moving on to step two, I'm sure you're all familiar with the logout timer, especially if you're a Iron Man. You know, if you hop world a certain amount of times, you're probably gonna get hop logged at, at you know, some point, and it's about five minutes to get logged back on. So what I figured out is every two trips you do, you're gonna end up with 122 emeralds and 172 sapphires if it's full stock around then. So that is a good time to actually start cutting the gems because if you don't, you will get hop logged. So you're gonna start cutting these gems. It's gonna take you about seven minutes to cut those gems, yielding around 16K crafting XP, which is really good. So yes, you, you craft those and that's gonna be the whole second step of this guide. And yeah, let's move on to the third step. All right, so you're actually gonna repeat this process until you run out of all the taco. And this is going to get you 3487 sapphires and 2150 emeralds. And then from there, we will all be cut. Everything will be cut and we'll be moving on to the next step of the process. And yeah, let's get it. All right, step five is kind of at your discretion. So what I did was make bracelets and that's what this guide is actually going to be all about. So what you're going to be doing is making bracelets. You make sapphire bracelets for around 74k XP an hour and the emerald bracelets for 78k xp an hour and the reason for this is you're going to be getting the most xp per gem as well as you're going to be able to elk them later on which will be another part of the guide so yeah the the next step the step five is continuing on with the gem process by making them into bracelets let's move on to the next step all right, so the next two images are going to be the XP rates and the money loss. So right here, you can see that we're getting 98k XP an hour while you're buying and cutting them, which is, I don't know, man, that's fucking really sick. So 98k XP an hour, that's counting, buying them and going back to the bank and cutting them the whole process. As for the other part, you are getting around, around 74k XP an hour making the Sapphire Bracelets with around 78k XP an hour by making the Emerald Bracelets. So, you know, in turn, if you add those and divide those and do some math and stuff, it's around 85k XP an hour, counting both processes, which to me is pretty good. So right now, let's get into the sample size data of how much money this all costs and how much XP you can really see uh, just from a 3 mil sample size. All right, so with the 3 mil cash starting, getting around 267,300 taco, you're going to end up with a about 4.9 mil worth of GP spent on gems as well as gold bars. And when you high elk them, you're getting 4.373 mil back. That's around a 600K GP loss per 668,715K XP just from this sample size that we're doing. I don't know, man. That's some good ass XP. So you're talking around about a four mil loss for 85 crafting and roughly getting 85 xp an hour 85k xp an hour so yeah that's just the rates i did i got myself i got 60 to 85 crafting about two or three days so yeah that's the guide you know i want to apologize for how scuffed this guy actually turned out um fuck man i just wanted to put it out and it's my first guide ever so Whatever, hope you guys found some use from this, hopefully. Uh, you know, write in the comments if you didn't. Um, I don't know, but this method is honestly great and I would recommend it. It honestly shouldn't affect the method too much by releasing this. 
If it does, I'm sorry for the people that were using it before. But yeah, good luck and yeah, peace.